A gun scare at New Albany Elementary School last week has pushed the topic of school security to the forefront. The school was placed on lockdown and police were called after district leaders say a parent brought a gun to the school. The parent did have a concealed carry license, but the incident caused district leaders to review their emergency plans. New at 11, NBC4's Liz Adiola shows us new security measures meant to keep students safe. Verification. It's the cadence of a new era in school security at New Albany Plain Local Schools. I've seen it go from signing in your name to the computers. Catherine Neff says she's always on campus for volunteer work. I have a sophomore, a sixth grader in the middle school, and then my son is fourth grade here. And every day, visitors like Neff walk the halls alongside about 4,500 students. People go in and out of doors all the time. Now school leaders are keeping track of those people on camera and online. We have right now probably 20 some people in the building. We've just upped our game and actually improved our safety and security of kids on campus by actually using a new type of software. A system called Badge Pass, where a visitor's license or state ID is swiped, and the system checks the National Sex Offender Registry to see if they're listed. If they're clear, a picture is taken and a badge printed out. If not, school administrators are called in to discuss what that means. We're not going to violate his rights or her rights by having them on our school campus, but put parameters in place associated to what they're allowed to do, where they're allowed to go. Be it alone or with an escort. Another new security feature on its way, the MARC radio system. That would allow us to have a direct connect from the main office in the event that there's a safety situation involving an intruder directly to the 911 dispatch. Two new direct lines of security keeping students safe with a click of a button. Never can be too safe. All right, there were made possible thanks to a grant of up to $35,000 from the state. I checked a few other districts and a representative from Dublin City School says they are also using the badge system. Okay, thank you very much, Liz Adiola there with that report. And she was going to go on to say that uh, Columbus Schools at this point is not using that system.